wanted to touch on lightning and how it affects our irrigation system and how dangerous it is to be on the golf course when there is lightning. We have a very nice ThorGuard system that tells everybody when there's lightning within, I believe, a 10 mile radius. And the reason that that alarm goes off when it's within the 10 mile radius is that we want you to get off of the golf course because lightning does hit our golf course and it hits it quite often. We've lost several trees. I think we've probably had close to 30 lightning strikes on the golf course in the last three years that I've been here. Uh, we do have a very nice lightning protection system for the irrigation. Uh, I wanted to show you a little bit of that. Every, uh, every probably 250 feet throughout the golf course, we have these things that we call uh, fuse blocks, basically. They have uh, small automotive fuses in them, and whenever there's a surge of power, it'll most likely just blow out one of the fuses. Real, real nice, easy way for us to repair the system and get it back to functional. However, we do occasionally get a direct hit, and when you get a direct hit, you'll see this one here has been completely melted out inside. Uh, this piece is no longer good in any way, shape, or form, uh, so the whole thing has to be cut out of the wire system and replaced. Each one of our sprinkler heads has this right here, it's called a decoder. This is what takes the signal from the computer and tells the sprinkler to turn on or turn off. Uh, it, it does know how long we want it to run, whether it's for two minutes, five minutes, 20 minutes, uh, we can set all those individual times. But one of the interesting things is when the lightning does hit these, if it comes all the way through the system and it's far enough to where it gets to the solenoid, this is what happens to the solenoid. It just is fused with sand all the way around it. This will not come off. This is fused onto there. Uh, lightning has basically melted that sand to this solenoid here. Um, these, uh, these are quite often uh, replaced. They're not, uh, it's not like every single day, but uh, throughout the month we may use one or two of these every month. Um, and uh, that's, like I said, that's how often we have lightning or power surges that come through the system. Uh, the, the detection or the protection that we have out there does stop the majority of that from happening, but occasionally it does come through.